on YouTube. Welcome back to another video with the House Money Investing Channel. In today's video, we're going to go over 16 positions I just got into to a swing trade for the House Money Challenge. Starting it off here, we bought $19 worth of Freeport, ticker FCX, and this is in my public account. Then we purchased $20 worth of BlackRock Taxable Municipal Bond Trust, ticker BBN. Uh, I like getting into bonds. It's a safe way to hold your money with the, um, you know, at, as well as the drawing interest. Similar to a savings account, except for you actually get some interest. Whereas a regular savings can be less than a percent, a high yield deal, a high yield savings account might be more than one to two percent. A bond isn't going to fluctuate much in price, so you're, it's a low risk, but you're also going to get a pay to dividend. So I always like to build my position of bonds. Then we bought twenty-one dollars worth of AT and T. This is also a great dividend payer. Uh, they have a streaming service through Warner Brothers, as well as, uh, you know, internet and phone service, things of that nature. Then we bought $22 worth of Lee Auto. Uh, this is an EV, a China EV stock. Uh, EVs are super hot right now. So we're going to uh, go ahead and swing trade uh, Lee Auto. I do already own... Uh, BBN, T, and LI. Uh, I do not own them in my public account, so I will be swing trading them here to try to build a position. Then we got Fubo TV, ticker F U B O, by $23 worth. Uh, this is a streaming platform. Uh, it's probably the third biggest, right behind uh, YouTube TV and Hulu Live TV. This thing ran up. It's been beaten down. It's going to make a bounce back. They're uh, steadily growing their subscri subscriber base. And they also uh, just acquired an online gaming uh, platform to add to the streaming services. So basically, while you're watching, you know, whatever kind of sports team or sports game, you can kind of bet on it as you watch it through the same, uh, through the same app. Then we bought uh, $24 worth of BlackRock Science and Technology Trust. I love BlackRock. They have some great uh, funds and some great ETFs. So we're going to put $24 in this one. Uh, Science and Technology are really on the rise with uh, biogenetic edit editing and all sorts of other things that are in this sector. Then we bought $25 worth of Steel Dynamics. This will give you exposure to the industrial sector of the market with the uh, CV vaccines and the stimulus and everything opening back up. You see, should see a ramp up in production of uh, you know stuff being built. So, Steel Dynamics is going to be a swing trade here. Then we bought twenty-six dollars worth of iShares Brazilian ETF. Uh, this ETF will give you exposure to a different market besides the United States. Uh, the best way for me to do so is through diversification and low risk management, which would be an ETF. I like exposure to Brazil, uh, other countries like Europe, China, you know, Japan, Canada, Africa, so on and so forth. Uh, this is something I'm already in, swing trading. So I'm just going to swing trade it again, try to build a position here on my public account. Then we purchased $26 worth of power shares, S&P 500, high dividend, low volatility portfolio. Uh, anytime you invest in a fund that has to do with the S&P 500, it's pretty much a sure thing as the S&P 500 is the top 500, is the top 500 companies in the United States. Uh, these plays will be paying high dividends with low volatility. So similar to a bond or a trust, it's not going to fluctuate very much. 
and you're going to get that nice uh, monthly, quarterly, or annually payment out of this PowerShares ETF. Um, I like PowerShares as well. They uh, typically have some good funds in ETFs as well. So something I'm swing trading here in my public account. Then you got Viacom CBS. Purchase $28 here in the public account. Uh, CBS is a great um, media outlet. They have millions upon millions, hundreds of millions of viewers, you know, that view their uh, that view their uh, network, and their networks is suitable for all ages, children, adults, and older folks. Um, so I see CBS steady making a profit. I like the fundamentals of this company. Then in my Charles Schwab account, we purchased ticker MO Autrio Group. This is a great dividend payer. Uh, it is a sin stock. Uh, I'm not really the person who stays away from sin stocks. Uh, you know, I don't take it personal. I look at it as it as business. And if it can make me some money, then I'm definitely going to buy. Uh, MO is something I already own long term. Uh, so I'm going to swing trade it here in the Charles Schwab and see if I can't build up my positions that I already hold. Then in Charles Schwab, I purchased General Motors. Uh, GM is a car company. Uh, not, you know, fundamental, I mean, business-wise or balance sheet-wise, but, you know, I'm a Chevrolet guy, so I love GM. Um, you know, they're trying to be innovative and come out with EVs and, you know, hybrids and that stuff of that nature. Uh, as you know, they try to make a deal with Nikola. For some battery technology, the deal fell through. Uh, they sold some plants to Hylion, uh, to Lordstown Motors, and Nikola. So they're trying to, uh, you know, innovate into the space of EVs uh, to help their overall, over, overall revenue of this company. GM is something I hold long term already as well. I'm doing pretty great, and I'm just trying to build my position by doing the swing trade here in Charles Schwab. This is going to be a new swing trade for me. Ticker uh, FLIR, Flare Systems. Uh, great balance sheet on this company. Great technical analysis. So uh, this is one I'm going to swing trade, and hopefully I can start building a position here. Then in my Fidelity account, we purchased ticker RMO, Romeo Power, Inc. Uh, this is just a new merger from a SPAC company. This is something I already hold uh, that I've purchased long term. And this is going to be a swing trade here in Fidelity to try to build a position or to try to increase my positions that I already have in this company. Then in Fidelity, we bought $11 worth of SBM, SPMB, which is a, a Spider Portfolio Mortgage Backed Bond ETF. Uh, Spider or Spy has great ETFs. Um, similar to other bonds, it's going to be a great savings account, low uh, volatility. With it being backed by uh, mortgage bonds, it's going to give you a monthly paying dividend. So this is just a monthly passive income uh, with not much fluctuation. So hopefully I can build a position here. Then the last trade we have is Perishing Square, PSTH. This is something I've already swing traded a few times this month in other brokerages. So I'm a swing trader here in Fidelity and try to build a position as well. I bought $12 worth. That's the 16 positions I'm into on the day. Uh, tomorrow I will purchase 17 more and I will uh, post a video with those updates and those positions I'm into. I will come back with a video later on. Uh, I will contain price movements some daily gains I've made as well as uh, some stock picks I will be analyzing stocks for probably the next 11 hours or so 12 hours um, so I'll come back with those stock picks some may be new to the watch list some may be re-added to the watch list if you like the video please hit the like button it'll really help the channel 
Um, please subscribe, hit the bell if you would love to follow my journey. Uh, look at my increase in gains as well as the stock picks that I have, what I'm buying, selling, depositing, withdrawing, all that good stuff. Catch you guys in the next one.